Okay, yes, there is a bit of sadness at the end of this story, but you know what? There's also a whole heck of a lot of good stuff to talk about here. I mean, come on, we're talking about Gene Rayburn, one of the all-time great game show hosts. But before we get going, let me introduce myself. Hi folks, my name is Dave Sundstrom, and I like to think of myself as something of a pop culture historian, especially when it comes to music, movies, and television. Simply put, I love talking about this stuff. So with that said, let's get rolling. If you're like me, when you hear the name Gene Rayburn, you think about this show, Match Game. During the 70s, this was the game show to watch. If you enjoyed really funny people sharing their wit through over-the-top sarcastic comments and humor that was full of double entendres, Rayburn was the ringmaster of this game show circus, and truth be told, I couldn't get enough more about Match Game in just a minute. But first, let's go a bit further back and look at a few key moments in Gene's career. Born Peter Eugene Jelgenic, Rayburn's first brush with notoriety was in radio. It was at WNEW in New York, where Rayburn helped innovate what we all know now as the morning drive time format. You know, a little bit of news, a little bit of music, and a whole heck of a lot of humorous chit-chat between the hosts. We're all familiar with this type of radio program now, but way back in the late 40s and early 50s, this was a novel idea. And after success in radio, television came a-knocking. The Tonight Show, to be exact. Yep, during the early years of that iconic late-night talk show, Steve Allen was the host at the time, Gene was the announcer for that program. But after a while, Gene felt the itch to do something more. That's where game shows come into the picture. While not the first game show that Gene hosted, Do Re Mi is a perfect example. Similar to Name That Tune in format, the game show was originally a bit of a dud. But the producers then gave Gene free reign to do whatever he wanted to do with the show. And you know what? He went crazy with the format. Gene was a master of connecting with people. Whether it be the game show participants or other cast members on the show. So Gene ad-libbed more with those contestants. He made the decision to make the house band visible instead of hidden behind a curtain. And he added a ton of his trademark Gene Rayburn wit to the show. And just like that, it was a hit. Oh, okay. Well, maybe better said, it wasn't quite the dud that it once was. During the 60s, Gene would host the original version of Match Game, which was heavily influenced by the very popular game show Password. In this version of Match Game, contestants were part of a team which included celebrities. While Match Game had a good run, it was ultimately canceled. And I've got to think that when that happened, Gene's innovative mind moved into high gear. How could the show be improved? What could he have done differently? And of course, we all know what happened. Like a phoenix, Match Game rose from the ashes to become a very popular game show during the 70s. Listen, I want to tell you who we got this week. We've got Brett Summers, Charles Nelson Riley, Fanny Flagg, and... Bob Graverman. And my gorgeous friend, oh, oh, Ava Gabor. And the very handsome William Daly. And... And we'll all be here on Match Game. Tune in, yeah. This version was different. Contestants were on their own. No teams this time. And the celebrity guests were some of the funniest people in showbiz. Especially these two. Man, I love the back and forth banter that routinely occurred between Brett Summers and Charles Nelson Riley. Richard Dawson was good as well. Come to think of it, all of the guests were just great and holding down the fort, keeping things somewhat sane, was Gene. Sure, he could be funny as well, but you know what? He knew he had to pick and choose his moments when surrounded by all of these really funny people. So you might be asking yourself at this point, is he ever going to get to the sad part of the story? Or was that just clickbait? Well, folks, here we go. You see, after a tremendous run during the 70s and early 80s, where Match Game was one of the most popular programs on daytime television, and even in the evenings for a while, it was finally canceled in 1984. While Rayburn found other projects to keep busy with, his heart was always with Match Game. He loved being part of that show, and he was always hearing about potential revivals. It was during one of those moments where showbiz folks were talking about maybe bringing Match Game back that this happened. 
the news program Entertainment Tonight during its nightly birthday segment highlighted Gene's 69th birthday. Seems like an okay thing to do, right? Well, Gene saw things a little bit differently. He didn't appreciate the program, reminding the entire world that he was almost 70. And it's possible that he had a point because the entertainment industry, well, they don't seem to prioritize maturity and wisdom over youth. So as talks progressed regarding a match game revival, which would actually happen in 1990, Gene's phone calls were ignored. He did everything that he could to make sure that the producers knew that he was interested. But end of the day, they just didn't want it. Well, Burt Convy was originally slated to host the new version of the game show. Ultimately, another feller named Ross Schaefer took over Gene's duties. That version was not a huge hit and only ran one season. Another version would debut in 1998 with Michael Berger as host. This time, Gene did not express a desire to be part of the show because he was in poor health and suffering from dementia. In October of 1999, Gene Rayburn appeared in person to accept a Lifetime Achievement Award from the Academy of Television Arts and Sciences. A month later, he was gone. Whether it was as a radio personality, a late night talk show sidekick, or a game show host, Gene Rayburn was one of a kind, a true innovator who was always looking for new ways to connect with people. When you couple that with the fact that the man was just a heck of a good person, an adoring husband to his wife, Helen, they were married for 56 years, a caring father, an honorable member of the U.S. military, a fan of marching bands. Well, the list goes on and on, but you get the idea. Gene Rayburn, he was the real deal. Gene also dabbled a bit in acting. Anyone else remember his appearances on The Love Boat? I sure do. Anyway, were you a fan of Match Game and in particular, Gene Rayburn? And do you have a favorite memory? Let me know in the comments section and while you're at it, I would appreciate a thumbs up and what the heck, why not subscribe to the channel? I talk about music, movies, and mostly television from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.